Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, of course, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about the films, documentaries, uh, theme parks, merchandising, whatever the case may be, I guess you would say. So, of course, I'm going to be reviewing, like, it's a sports-themed drama movie, and um, it's based on something that actually happened and whatnot. So, okay, as usual, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So, yeah, anyway, so yeah, pretty much what's happening here is that this is going to be centering around the main theme of I guess at its core it's one of the stories that one of those characters has has a struggle because she starts off poor like really really poor but then becomes rich or whatever like those kind of movies and whatnot I guess have a strong alive but things will get better but in the meantime there's a bit of a struggle I guess you would say life is not easy for a main character and whatnot so okay that is that kind of a th movies living this place is is yeah, it's not really a comforting thing of course and whatnot because, uh, of course, she lives with her family and whatnot, and it's not exactly great, of course. Yeah, it's just going to be a whole thing with chess. That's a central thing as well, of course. So, obviously, even trying to do that, that's going to be a bit of a struggle, of course. Uh, yeah, pretty much the overall idea here is that the film does proceed to track down the ups and downs of this um, this individual who basically has to go through the successes of these uh, competitions, uh, these tournaments and whatnot, to follow her dreams. But, of course, it's easier said than done obviously so let's just say that yeah this does present the story that she wants to do her best what her family wants to do what they want to inspire her to do so on um, what she personally wants to do for herself obviously what she wants to do for her life what her family wants her to do so yeah there's that and obviously the whole chest thing is it's not easy not gonna be an easy thing to to do, of course. So yeah, like I said, it's, it's supposed to be very based on a true story and whatnot, and it pretty much centers around this young girl who pretty much wants to um, do a thing for a living, of course, and she does help her widow mother and support their strong family, which which does include four siblings. So, but the thing is that whole life does a take a I guess a 360 degree turn when she meets up with this one individual who happens to be a soccer, soccer player turned missionary he wants this club for disadvantaged street kids and yeah that becomes a story of course a part of the story from this point she learns that she could do something else as well for a living and the thing is our main character started off selling stuff to make money i guess you can say but he this dude shows her how to play chess he proves to be a genius at this game he's like well what do you know there you go so basically what happened here is that after she had defeated practically everyone in this club uh yeah this guy realizes how intelligent she really is. He and his school teacher wife decides to mentor her, teaching her to read, write, no, and whatnot, so she can pursue uh, an education kind of thing, which is, which does make sense when you think about it, of course. So it's basically, in other words, this is a one of those underdog stories, as if it wasn't obvious enough, of course. And I can see why they wanted to put it in this kind of direction with the story because, you know, a lot of people love a underdog story. It's, it's what they like. A lot of people seem to like. Underdog stories are really popular anyway. It's a good way to, I guess, cheer for the for the main character and whatnot. And this is definitely a good way to do it, of course. And the thing is that you have, you have to realize that our main character has to learn that she has to accept herself. She has to believe in herself. Life is not easy, of course, for nobody. I mean, some have it worse than others, but you have to keep going through it anyway, because it's always bright on the other side. How does that one phrase grow? Um, it's green on the, it's always green on the other side or whatever, I guess. I guess that, that could be a good way to summarize, summarize what's going on here. So, well, that's one way of putting it anyway. But yeah, that's the thing. So, she has to go to these, you know, these major national and international chess tournaments including one in russia into accepting her into this competitions of course she has to gain confidence from her wins and brings and has to bring in her um her achievement or whatever but like i said it's easier than and done she has a goal but yeah it's it's gonna be a struggle that's for sure that's gonna be a big struggle for her but yeah of course she wants to achieve her dreams no matter what despite the fact that even people may say no you're crazy for doing this kind of a thing how dare you so on and so forth. So that's basically what's going on in this movie. So yeah, it's one of those inspirational type stuff, of course. 
and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But um, but yeah, I, I can say that you couldn't check this movie out. It's actually on Disney Plus. You want to check it out, folks. But the only real major criticism I can give this film is that it, it kind of feels like it's overly stretched. It's about what little over two hours and you can feel it in some way and yeah that's one of my major complaints is that it feels dragged out really it feels padded in some ways and my second major complaint uh it's like one of the female characters not the main character obviously but one of the other female characters have to talk down to other women like really this, this for looking attractive oh well that's my way of putting it and uh, i know this is a bit of a thing I've, I've talked about before in my other videos where the people who talk down to other women for looking attractive are other women are you kidding me that plays in here i mean i know they have to have some sort of sense of drama anyway yeah i'm not mind drama in movies of course but you really have to put that in there but uh but whatever i guess but overall, this film is fine, I suppose, despite those two complaints I have for this, really. And I can see what they're trying to do, making it inspirational. Don't give up on your dreams. Your dreams have no expiration date, so it's up to you to make them a reality. Don't give up. Keep going. Despite the fact not having the easiest life, like, at all. So, yeah, I can, I can see what they're trying to do with here. I can, I can see what they're trying to aim for and whatnot. So... The, the themes for this movie, uh, documentary style, kind of, uh, I don't know if that's the proper way of saying it, like a biography? Yeah, I guess that's a better way of saying it. It's a, more of a biography for this kind of a thing, I guess. It's what you call it, a biography, I suppose. That, because, like I said, it's supposed to be based upon something that actually did happen and whatnot. Like, okay, that's cool. So anyway, it's definitely worth a watch, folks. I, 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 I would say so. Anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 7.0. I think it's a 7.0 turn for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah. Later. Yeah.